Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I want to demonstrate for you the lead placement for a 12 lead EKG. First you want to gather your supplies. So you'll want to get 10 of these electrode stickers. Next you'll want to get some alcohol prep. This will help you remove those oils from that top layer of the skin so the electrode stickers will stick. Then you'll want to get a strip of abrasive tape which is just really this little fine gritty sandpaper stuff that you'll use to rough up that top layer of the epidermis so these electrodes will stick to. Now if you're doing this on a patient who has a lot of hair on their chest, you'll want to get some trimmers to trim that hair because sticking these electrode stickers over hair does not work and it causes a lot of artifacts so you'll want to trim those hairs. Okay, so the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to place our limb leads, which are which include our right arm, our left arm, our right leg, and our left leg. And then we will place our limb leads, which will be V2 through V6. Okay, whenever you're placing limb leads, you can either put them on the chest, which you're going to see me do in this video, or you can put them on the extremities. From where I've worked in a stress lab, we always use the chest for the limb leads because the patient was going to be exercising. And when you exercise, you move your arms and legs and that can cause a lot of artifact. So to do the right arm, we're going to go right below the right clavicle. And what we want to do is we want to prep that site. We're going to take some alcohol prep, cleanse it very well, removing any oils from the skin, let that dry. Then take your abrasive tape and just gently rough up the skin, that top layer, so the sticker will stick good to it, the electrode. And each electrode has backing, so you're gonna peel that backing off like that, has like this gel, and make sure they're not dry. If they're really dry looking, get new electrodes because it'll affect your connection. Then you're just gonna put that there and just smooth it on the skin. Now we're gonna put our left arm and you're gonna do the same prep. Cleanse the skin with alcohol prep, rough it up, and we're going right below that left clavicle, and then we're going to put our electrode. Okay, now let's do our leg leads. Okay, we're going to do the right leg, so we're going to go down to the right upper quadrant, and again, you can place this on the leg. We're going to cleanse the area. We're going to Gently rough up the skin and put our electrode and we're going in the right upper quadrant. Now we're going to do the left leg and we're going to go in the left upper quadrant. Again, cleanse the area, rough up the skin and place our electrode. Now let's place our chest leads, which again is V1 through V6. And to do that, we need to find our intercostal spaces. And it's best to follow this way of identifying the landmarks to find what intercostal space you're in. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the sternal notch, which is literally a, is a notch. And it's found in between the clavicles. And then you're gonna go down just slightly and you're gonna feel this protrusion, a little hump. This is called the angle of Lewis, also called the sternal angle. And we're going to place V1 first. So we're going to go to the right of that angle and we're going to be in the second intercostal space. Now V1 is in the fourth intercostal space right of the sternum. So we're going to go down, there's the third, there's the fourth. So we're in the fourth intercostal space and this is where V1 is going to go, slightly just next to the sternum. So again, I'm just going to cleanse the area really good, rough it up and then place your electrode. Okay, now V2 is going to be literally right beside of it on the opposite side. It's going to be, again, find your sternal notch, go down where the hump is, which is your angle of Lewis, you find the second intercostal space, third, and then fourth. And it's gonna be on the left side. So cleanse the area. And rough it up. Then place your electrode. Okay, so right now we have V1 and V2. 
Okay, we're gonna skip V3 for a second and you're gonna see why. We're gonna go to V4. V4 is found at that fifth intercostal space. So again, find your landmarks. Second, third, fourth, fifth. And we're gonna go mid-clavicularly, so midway of the clavicle. And it's going to be right here. So that is going to be V4. So we're gonna cleanse the skin. I'm gonna rough it up. And then we're going to place our electrode. Okay, and now we're gonna go back to V3. And V3 is in between V2 and V4. So we're gonna go right there. So we're gonna cleanse the skin. Rough it up. Place our electrode. Okay, so we have V1, V2, V3, V4. Now we're gonna do V5. And V5 is gonna be level with V4, but it's gonna be at the left anterior mid-axillary line. So right here. So cleanse the area. Rub it up. And then we're going to place our electrode. Okay, and our last one is V6. And V6 is going to be level with V5, but it's gonna be at the mid-axillary line, so literally right underneath the armpit. So it's gonna be right here. So we're going to cleanse it. Wrap it up. And then put our electrode. Okay, so let's go over them again. We have our limb leads, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. Now we have our chest leads. We have V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. Okay, so that is the lead placement for a 12 lead EKG. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.